Christmas cozy, little Christmas here with you. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just listening to some Christmas music, and I'm doing a new SimCity video. Hi, I am Michael Tilo Mike, and I am the mayor of Steiner Hills. See what I just did there? Anyway, it's, t it's a fantastic thing. So, this is a replacement. You're not going to probably know this unless you had already seen Episode 7. This is the new Episode 7 uh, with the volume changes uh, being made to the game. Or I am trying to figure out why sometimes the game gives me uh, the option to put out quality video, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, uh, but from today's title, as you see, we're going to discuss how to uh, understand hotspots and how to maximize it for your benefit. Because uh, because just because it's in the game doesn't mean it's uh, it's going to be for your benefit. All right, so I want you guys to be the best player you can be. So, a quick update on my city, because as you see, my city is a mess right now. Uh, this is Harborside. I made a few changes. I got this new uh, Posada building, so that's kind of cool. And uh, so here's Harborside. I think everything else I've kept the same. Yeah, let's see what this deal is. No. All right, that's a horrible deal. Um, I'm trying to redo this area, so this is like, I think I'm just going to call it, uh, you know, like Coast Avenue. And you go all the way over here to get to this, like, secluded out-of-the-way area where you can go to a yoga retreat and an odd hideaway. Uh, and also, so people from who live on this island, like the mayor, can get over to their luxury boat marina and go out. Let's see if they actually leave. I love watching these boat marinas. Uh, the boats leave the marina. Isn't that cool? Look at this. Let's follow these guys. Let's see. Where y'all going? And I hope you're socially distanced. Wow, they're going fast. Okay. Well, I just love that. Um, and then the side here is blocked off this way. So hopefully those people don't bother these people. Uh, this is like a big camping area, and you get there by coming through the city, getting to the end, there's a tree house, and then you have a uh, walkway that you can, first of all, just admire the view of the city and the water, and um, I think I'm going to call it Plum Island, where... Uh, some of some cities elite live uh, financially elite. You're not elite as a person. You just, and I mean, like financially elite. Um, they're doing the right things. They're probably doing the Dave Ramsey plan. Anyway, uh, you have this area over here. You can watch that, but you can also use this to get to this area here to go camping. Say, just go through the bushes and the trees. Avoid the bears. Oh, do that again. Yeah, avoid the bear because you know you don't want to die by being eaten by a bear. Because one, how would people know? Because they won't have your body because you were eaten by a bear. Um, and then the campsites and the lake and all that. So, but it's still a mess right now. I'm still, this even this island here is under construction. Uh, I moved it further in. Um, I used a different bridge to access the road. Um, kind of like the entrance here. But anyway, I just wanted to give you that update. And then finally, my Central Park area. Uh, I've designed it for the Christmas season, and uh, so you can go see the Nutcracker Ballet. Hmm, very sweet. And you have the two trees on the other side, a toy store, a park. The church is here. This is the church that the mayor goes to, it's right in downtown. It's beautiful, right next to the Sydney Opera House. Um, and then all these like uh, I need to I need to find a building to go right here. Because I don't want the, that this empty. Let's move you over for a second. For now, yeah. So maybe I actually don't now need. Yeah, I still need one more building. And let's go back to I like the little distance. So we'll think of another building there. Anyway, so that's what I have. And then of course I'm working on. This whole city is a mess. Uh, this downtown area. I'm going to bring in the stadium to put next to the Expo Center because that would make sense. You'd have an Expo Center next to the stadium. And then finally, this area is going to become, I think this is going to be my university area because I like the idea of the university being right off the highway or being seen from the highway. 
or I'll make this a neighborhood, like, you know, just a regular residential neighborhood here, and then put the college over here. And I'm going to try to swap out these services for Omegas to save up some space. And finally, I'm going to put these um, factories in another region on another map. So that'll save up some space as well. All right, let me just do this real quick before I give you guys the update. Uh, what do I need the most of right now? Oh, we're going to need these. So every time I say in my show, guys, when you take, replace. And I've been making a lot of paint lately and uh, things like that. So I try to... And I've also been making these because you can't find sugar anywhere. And I need to make more uh, flour. All right. Don't pick it all up because you see I'm getting close to my storage limit and then you can't pick it that up and then you mess yourself up. All right, so there's my update. And now, oh, one last thing about my update, I'm sorry, Frosty Ford. So this part is a mess here, but I think I finished the Christmas area. So people come here, you travel, and you come over and you enter Christmas land or whatever with the trees and all that. And I'm making nothing but these uh, for my uh, club mates so that they don't have to. Um, I'm only making holiday decorations, candy canes, and holiday ornaments because these are the only things that you're not losing money making. You're losing money because uh, the cost of the supplies you use to make the toy horse and the cost of the supplies you make the gingerbread cookies are larger and more than the actual sale price of the gingerbread cookies and the toy horse. So it's not worth it. All right, so I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and let's start putting those in. Okay, so there's my update. Hope you guys like it, and uh, that's what I do here. Okay, now, and here's my, you know, kind of park, uh, camp, nature, people stuff. And these are all my services, by the way. See how I put all the services to Omega? See how little space it takes up? That's why I want that on my map, too, on my capital. All right, so there we go. So, hotspots. These are the name of the game. Hotspots are certain buildings that are specific to your regions, so it only applies if you have opened up your map. So, if you've opened up either Green Valley, Sunny Isles, uh, I forgot what this one's called, Limestone Cliffs, uh, Cactus Canyon, or Frosty Ford. If you have not opened up one of these regions, then hotspots does not apply to you. So when you see the Condos of Mayor's task to upgrade a hotspot, here's how you find them. They are in the education, transportation, entertainment, gambling, specialization buildings. Okay, so let's just go to education. You see this green arrow, a green background with a white arrow pointing up. That lets you know this is a hotspot building and it is ready for upgrade. So if you scroll all the way to the end of each of your specialization building options, you'll see at the very end, this building, Contemporary Art Museum. If you press and hold, you'll see what region it's for. It's for Green Valley, the regional population that lets you know the requirement of your regional population you'll need before this building gets unlocked and you see what department it's in. You see the price is 1200 uh, leaf simoleons and importantly you see where it says epic points one dot dot five that's letting you know this building can be worth eventually a maximum of five epic points this is key because as you know if you're doing epic projects and if you're finding difficulty in doing them and getting the bronze you're like I can barely get the bronze I can barely get silver gold forget gold you know well don't forget gold gold is good don't ever forget gold um in fact you should probably only get gold anyway but it's because you most likely have buildings that only have one or two epic points and you're giving five up to five items per project and it takes you a long time to get 200 points when you only have one and two point buildings 
So the name of the game is you want more building specializations that have higher epic points. I recommend at least three epic points for the building to be worth, and that way it's easier, much easier, to of course finish a gold epic project. So this build the hotspots are fantastic if you fully upgrade them. You'll also see where it says boost 15.80% that lets you know that the base when you place it will boost your population 15% in the affected area. But when you fully upgrade the hotspot, it will give you your population 80% boost. That is phenomenal. So again, it's fantastic. And finally, when you see it says area 12 by 14, dot dot 26 by 28, that is the impacted area. So when you first place this building, it's only affecting a 12 by 14 radius, but as you upgrade it, it affects a larger radius. Not only is it affecting a larger radius, but again, the boost, it's boosting it more in a more area. So get hotspot buildings. And again, this is how you'll find them. You'll go to, let's pick another area, you'll pick entertainment. You'll scroll to the right. They're normally at the very end of the screen. And you'll see here it says Luau. This is a regional hotspot building in, for Sunny Isles. Now you can place them on any map. As you see, I have my um, contemporary museum on my capital. Um, but the, Lu, the Luau is for Sunny Isles. You need a population of 3,000 regional population in Sunny Isles, nowhere else, to be eligible to unlock the building. That's 1,200 wave simoleons. Again, epic point ranges from 1 to 5 points. The boost starts at 15%, goes to 80%, and again goes from 12 by 14 to 26 by 28. Longship Museum is for Frosty Ford. UFO Landing Site is for Cactus Canyon. The Tea House is for Limestone Cliffs. As you see, I don't have Limestone Cliffs unlocked, but if I did, this would be a building I would place. Pet Park is for Green Valley. Now another key cool thing is to know, let's go to transportation. If you, uh, This is a good example of one. Let me see if this image shows what I wanted to show. Perfect. So now you see where it says bicycle rental. Now you notice how there is a bicycle in front of the building, but there's nothing on top of the building. That's how it starts when you place it. As you upgrade your hotspots, for, by level 5 and level 10, I think is the last one, or level 8. I'm not sure if it's level 8 or 10. It's been a while since I've maxed, uh, maxed it out. But either level uh, 8 or 10, it changes the design. So when you place your building, it looks one way. And as you upgrade it to level 5, it upgrades. So this uh, bicycle rental here on my map, look what happened. It placed a bicycle on top of the building as a signage so it does change your building it gets better this building here where's the epic uh i mean the, this building this looks this way now because it's been upgraded to level seven before level five it was not as large so the 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 spot it takes up stays the same but the building becomes more ornate or bigger or nicer as you upgrade it and and again the way you upgrade is you'll look You'll see in your build uh, in your town. You see, look for these uh, symbols, and once you click on this up white up white arrow up with the green background circle, if you click it, if you have other hotspot buildings in your map, you hit the right arrow, and it'll take you to the next one. It takes you to the next one, so you don't got to keep searching. It'll just keep looking at. It. And if you go fast, it'll go fast. And if you go slow, it'll go slow. Look at that, slow, fast slow isn't that a cool trick and then you'll know you know like well how do i know if i'm eligible to upgrade well one you'll see the upgrade button it ain't gonna it's not gonna highlight if you're not eligible it will upgrade show that you can upgrade if you don't have the money because of course i'll give the option to buy it aren't they very nice like for instance this costs 24 thou every time you upgrade your regional simoleons it costs to upgrade increases so right now this taxi is at level seven if I hit the I button for information, it lets me know that I'm currently at three epic points. But if I upgrade it from level seven to level eight, I'll go from 20 by 20 
area to a 22 by 22 area, my boost will go from 50 to 60%, and my epic point will go from three to four points. So it is definitely worth it because I reached a population in Sunny Isles of 108,000. So you're like, well, let's go to level eight. I hit upgrade. Only problem, I don't have enough wave simoleons. See at the top of the screen, you can see I only have 4,273 wave simoleons. But isn't SimCity all kind and offer me the ability to buy 20,227 wave simoleons to complete this action for only 7,270 sim cash? Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. So, and we'll talk on another episode on how to make regional simoleons easily without paying money for it legally. All right, that'll be another thing. But I hope this fully answered your question about hotspots. Again, if you like this video, please uh, comment and like. That lets YouTube know that this video was actually helpful and it will make sure more and more people see it when they're looking for videos on SimCity. And if you found this information helpful, maybe someone else will. So please like, comment, subscribe so you'll know when my next episode comes out. And again, in the comment section, if you have other questions that you would like me to discuss, any different aspects of SimCity, let me know. I'm pretty good. I've been playing the game for a while. I've also um, learned a lot from Missy. Uh, my gosh, so much from her. Uh, so I think I'm pretty knowledgeable. So if you do have some questions um, that you want me to answer during my update videos of my city, then just be sure to drop it below. I will read them. So, uh... Boom shakala. Uh, that's all for now, guys. Thank you for visiting Steiner Hills. Have a wonderful day.